Hello, y'all, and welcome to part number 25 of the Runaway Teen Challenge. So, <laughs> now that I'm done being weird for a moment, we're pretty much picking up right where we left off. Olivia is waking up right now, checking out her wrinkles and being quite dismayed by what she finds, um, even though she has no reason at all to be. I'm going to send her downstairs to eat some breakfast really quick, just get some grub in her belly. And meanwhile, the other kiddos are fast asleep. I think we are going to finally move to Hidden Springs in this part. I did go ahead and download Hidden Springs. So, um, simply because, you know, it had a lot of great reviews. You guys re recommended it. So I decided, you know, I might as well get it since a lot of people like it. And, um,. I just want something new. I want to try something different. And Hidden Springs has never appealed to me that much, but you guys really highly recommend it. So I'm I'm down to try it. Plus this town is just getting too worn out at this point. Like we need a change of pace. We need a change of scenery. We have been here this whole entire time. So, and being in a different town will be will make it more difficult to um to actually do the challenge because these custom world towns have lots of like community garden areas and blah 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 so um that makes it a lot easier and it'll be much 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 more difficult to do the runaway teen challenge with Faye in a city where there's not a lot of that available to us so I am looking forward to being to having a little bit more of a challenging experience um so let's see we have 35,000 in the bank right now like, that's before we factor in how much everything in the house costs. So, let us see. What if we moved within this neighborhood? Because that'll basically give us the same money that we would have when we move out. Okay, so we would have 80000 That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. I am totally down with having 80000 buckaroos. So what we might do, should we go ahead and do it? Like just, let's just do it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll hold off because I think, yeah, she has the wish to woohoo with Cornell. So maybe we'll just do that. Maybe we'll hold off on the, on the running away just yet from um, Ann Arbor and just chill for a second. Get Olivia to fulfill her wishes, you know, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll do the, we'll do our thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, what time does Alfonso work? He works in three hours. He's going to be waking up any second now. Oh my goodness. We, I just came back from IHOP and I had some delicious coffee and it was fabulous. Um, so the kiddos and Sophie are going to school. So what we might just go ahead and do is invite him over because, I mean, he's going to, Alfonso's going to be leaving in a second. Any who's all. Young lady, go to school right now. Excuse you. You need to go to school. And you, my dear, need to go to work. Off to work with you, love. There you go. There you go, Bobo. Let's see, is our friend here yet? What is she doing? She's feeding her a treat. Well, that's lovely. The dogs are running around like chickens without heads, which is always nice. Oh, look, and there he is. So why don't we do a little kissy kissy, we'll do a little flirty flirty, we'll do a little holdy holdy. <laughs> um, just get these two a little bit closer to each other. Oh yes. And we'll do a little, um, 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 we'll do another kiss because why not. And then we'll do a little embrace and... Why don't we, why don't we be really bad? Why don't we be super terrible and do the, the bad thing, do the super bad thing? What are you doing? You're joking me right now. No kidding? Oh my gosh. Well, that's beautiful. What the heck did he do that was so rude? He didn't even do anything. Sims, you don't make any kind of sense half the time. I'm so done with you. Okay, so maybe that wish won't be fulfilled. She might just have to find a pair more in her new town and be done with it. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a shower. I mean, let's be real. Olivia is 
Cougar Town. She's so gorgeous that she can have anybody, young or old, that she wants. So what are we even worried about? Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Flirt with Terry. Who is Terry? Actually, I don't even have Terry on my list. So who the hey is Terry? I'm so confused. But whatever. Okay. The maid is here cleaning as usual, which is lovely. I love her. She does such a good job. You're amazing, Miss Maid. Much better than the other one. I'm going to have her eat some cereal super duper quickly. And then I guess we'll just just skip town you know whatever it's too much hassle to try and get her to boom boom with her paramour her man ho if you will so we might as well just get the heck out of dodge um so why don't we clean up yes 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 man i want some more coffee like <laughs> the struggle is so real i rarely get to have like really good really good coffee that isn't like Starbucks coffee and therefore loaded with sugar, you know? And this IHOP coffee was hitting the spot today. Hitting the spot, for real. Um, sure, she can go over to whatever his name is. And we'll have Miss Olivia just head to bed really quick so she can chill out, get some rest. It is pouring rain right now in Ann Arbor because what else is new like realistically it's always pouring pouring rain um <laughs> poor girl is having to clean up outside and deal with this with getting absolutely soaked not to mention the dogs are harassing her that's so funny um alfonso is coming home with a buttload of cash today he's doing really good at work i'm very impressed with him he definitely needs to improve his relationship with his partner though like that is a problemo Bobo, I'm gonna need you to capitalize on that situation right there. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm gonna have him come home and just take a quick shower. And then maybe we'll just go. What do you guys think? Why don't we just move the heck out and be done with it? Let's just do it. Who even cares anymore? There's no reason for us to stay here. So let's do it, and I'll be right back when we've gotten to the new place. All right, guys, so here we are in the what in this Sam Diddley has happened here. Do you guys see this? <laughs> Whoa. Um, huh. Alrighty, so <laughs> why don't we try and choose a lovely house. We have a two bedroom, two bath there. We have a three bedroom, three bath there, but we can't buy it furnished. Hmm, we need something large, you know? Um, well, shoot. Seems like that's all that we can afford that's decently big. Oh, we have a three bedroom right here. It's a cabin, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. What about this one? It's a two bedroom, so we don't wanna do that. And that way we could save a little bit of money and maybe move into that really beautiful chateau. And at least this way we'll have enough bedrooms for the kids and for the parents as well. Um, let me grab my phone so I can watch the stopwatch. Sorry guys. All right, I am probably going to have to end this a little bit early, just so you guys know, simply because I need to take my dad to pick up his truck, but I wanted to record something really quick I, I, as soon as I possibly could. Um, dang, I don't know how I'm going to upload this, though, because I'm, I'm literally going to be gone for the rest of the day, probably. Damn it, I hate it when this happens. Like, you know, just to share a little bit of my gripes from day to day to day, somehow or another, I always wind up, even on a day off when I don't think I'm going to be doing anything, somehow or another, I wind up getting stuck doing a buttload of stuff all day long. Oh my gosh, I'm really worried that this is going to completely screw up my game. Because you saw all that stuff, <sighs> and then I'm really not going to be able to record for you guys. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, we're good. We are all good in the hood, thank God. Okay, so here we are, and this is our new home. And check it out. Oh, this is perfect because Sophie could live over here, yeah, and have like her own little private area. And then we've got this part over here where Faye can sleep there for now, of course. 
that's going to change soon enough. And then Mama and Dada can sleep in there. And we've got this nice little area here. I'm obviously going to replace this TV. Obviously. We're just going to get rid of that. I love the cabin look though. I'm really into it right now. Um, so I'm going to put one of these babies down. And we'll stick with like the really nice red, oaky, warm color. Um, I'm going to replace the... Uh, showers and stuff because we could definitely afford some better stuff I mean let's be real um, so we're going to get a nice little toilet um, we'll do we'll do that babe that bad boy right there we'll do a nice bath towel or <laughs> bath shower combination combination <laughs> I am all sorts of tongue-tied today all right, we'll put that baby right here. Yes. And then we'll put a nice sink. Ooh, I love these sinks. They're so pretty. Put this nice sink right here. Fabulous. fab you -less. In fact, I think I'm going to move it down to the end there. Just so there's a little bit more walking space and whatnot. And then over here, I'm going to use the same toilet. So we'll put this boy, bad boy right there. And then we're just going to put a stand-up shower. Um, let me see, showers and tubs. We'll do a nice, a nice stand-up shower. Not that thing that looks like a freaking spray tanning booth. Um, that one looks nice, actually. So we will do that bad boy right there. And then I guess we could just use the same sink. Why not? I mean, seriously, why not? There's no need to use anything fancy parenting. You know what I mean? Oh, it says boy or girl? Huh. Why in the world would it say boy or girl? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, sure. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat then. Um, okay, so we'll leave that as is for now. And I'm not really going to decorate Faye's room because she's going to be running away soon. Any who's all my do's all. But I figured we could play around with them in this world for nowsies. Um, why don't we... Oh, I forgot to buy stuff for the dogs. Yes, we definitely need to do that. Definitely need to buy some doggy supplies. So I'm going to go to Pets. We're going to go to dogs, and I'm going to buy them a couple dog bowls. Not too many, just a couple. We won't do the full shebang with three this time around, because there's really no need for it. I'm going to put a little... I love the yard work here. This is so pretty. I'm going to put a little um, a, a play toy box. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> for the doggies there. And I am going to go ahead and replace her stuff also, because why not? Um, we'll do a nice stand-up shower again. Yes, indeedy. Lemon squeezy. Do a nice stand-up shower right there. And we'll put... Um, we'll put the t uh, toilet here and the sink which I suppose we could do this one. That looks nice. And the sink right there. There we go. Nicely arranged and everything. And this is just such a nice little um, uh, additional house, I guess. You know, side house, whatever you want to say. For Sophie, I mean, that's perfect. For Sophie to just stay at home for a little bit. Because obviously, you know, she she really loves her parents. She really wants to stay at home and... Um, there's no real need for her to move out anyways. It's not like she's getting married anytime soon or doing anything like that. So there's just, there's no need for it. So I'm going to have my dearest here go ahead and uh, watch some TV. We will have Daddy-O join in on that situation. Um, let's see, my girl. Oh, that's right. I want to get them the Hygienator. Who has the highest? He does. So why don't we buy the pet hygienator? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, it's in our family inventory. And I'm just gonna put that baby right out back here for the puppies to use at their leisure. And as you can see, we have another really just super gorgeous sitting area back here. 
for them to look oh, we're right by the waterfalls i didn't even realize look how gorgeous this is goodness gravy this is stunningly beautiful and what is we got some fishies over here oh my gosh i'm in love i'm in love and then we've got oh, what's this is this a public property oh it's a tavern and cafe Ooh, how cute is this how cute is this I can't believe I've never been interested in Hidden Springs before because so far, and mind you, I haven't seen much, so far I love it. It's adorable. Okay, and this is just this little nook over here. What's this? This is so cute. I love how wooded it is. It's like, it's like the mountains. Oh, that's real damn specific. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, oh, it's so nice. It's like what I imagine a very cold and mountainous place to be in like the springtime when it's not as cold and it's a little more green and lush and beautiful. That's so exciting. All right, so Olivia is just spending some time with her baby girl here. Just getting some time in to chit chat and uh, talk about life, if you will. Um, while Alfonso is trying to connect a little bit with his baby girl, Faye, who seems to be appreciating it a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, and let's see, what else can I do for you, boo boo? <sighs> scan Alf. Why would you want to scan him? She's not a plum bot. Uh, homie, what? <laughs> Jesus, I don't even understand. Okay, makes sense. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> um, I love this house. It's really, it's not as big. Well, it, it is bigger. Like, the whole property is a lot bigger than where they were. They have a lot more room to spread out. Like, that's the main thing. They definitely have a lot more room to do things if they want to. Um, so I'm gonna have Alfonso just come take a bath and chill out and relax a little bit You know take a load off moving is a huge dealio. I'm already like stressed out and I haven't even moved out yet <laughs> So moving ain't no joke for sure um, So I think I'm gonna have him come and watch really quick for shirzies and actually guys I am going to wrap this part up right here I know I know I know I know it's so early it's so soon we're only about like 17 minutes in right now but I do have to cut it short simply because I have to get going but I definitely wanted to record something for you guys today because I hate that I haven't been, been able to record as much as I want to so I was going to record today and get it out there for you guys because I insist <laughs> but um, I hope you all did enjoy this short and sweet part of the runaway teen challenge i'm very excited to finally get to run away here in hidden springs with miss Faye. i'm gonna have to pick a place to put her lot though because you have to be on like a 10 by 10 lot and all that jazz and, and it's kind of it kind of works because we're in a very wooded area so it makes sense um but whatever any who's all you guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I love you guys so much, and I thank you so much for watching today and being so supportive and wonderful and amazing, and I love you. Um, so definitely leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys in the next part of whatever I make, and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay? Okay. Bye, guys.